been out of culture here. I uh, just thought I'd do um, a pickups video, some recent stuff I've been picking up. Uh, I've got two piles down here on the floor. I've got a pile of uh, eBay pickups from the last uh, two or three weeks and I've got a pile from a brilliant little shop. I actually got the flyer um, at the Doncaster uh, retro show, uh, the game fair, uh, a couple of months back. Um, a little place if you're anywhere near in West Yorkshire, the Bradford area, it's called uh, Direct Deals. I'll, I'll put the, the details um, sort of below so you can have a look through, see if it's uh, see if it's something you'd be interested in. Absolutely fantastic place. Um, what a, what a collection he's got. Absolutely brilliant. I think if I, I bought, I think I bought a Spy, no, not Spider. What was it? Aladdin and bought a couple of games from it at Doncaster. Did pretty good deals for me there as well. So, um, but the shops just got absolutely everything. Everything. Uh, really reasonable prices. Um, everything in really good order, good condition, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, you, if, you, if you're in the area, um, you can do um, do yourself a favour and check it out, absolutely brilliant. So I'll go through the stuff that I, I bought, I think I got about two, I've just come back from holiday, but I'm about two weeks ago. Um, uh, yeah, about two weeks ago, so I'll just go through what I, what I picked up in this shop. I've uh, been wanting one of these for ages, um, but I've been trying to get one in really good nick and that's the old the 6 button Mega Drive controller, the Street Fighter etc. Um, absolutely fantastic condition, uh, really clean, haven't had much use at all. Um, I haven't actually tried it yet, but it, it shows me it's in perfect working order and I can tell it is, I can tell it is. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Um, Anyone that knows me, well, you'll get to know me. Um, regarding Super NES, I made a decision many moons ago um, not to collect box version, box versions of uh, Super NES because it was just obscenely expensive, and I give myself, um, you know, headaches and stress and all the rest of it. So I only ever buy Super NES loose cart. Um, tried to get them in good condition with minimal yellowing, but I I only buy uh, loose car. I've, not a massive collection. I've 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 got a fair few, um, but um, it was selling this in the shop for I think it was twelve quid. Super Mario World, absolutely spot on. I think it goes for about twenty quid on eBay. Really good nick, uh, no yellowing whatsoever. Um, so I thought that were a, a quick little uh, purchase there all day long. I like that. Um, I got a couple of PS2 games, um, Alien Hominid, um, really good little game actually if anyone that plays this, uh, really really cool, really funky and really bright, uh, cartoony style graphics, um, loads of playability in it, hard to describe really, um, but it's best off playing it for yourself, it's nothing how you imagine it if you've never played it, it's absolutely ton of fun, absolute ton of fun to play, it really is, um, that obviously complete, disc in great condition, I uh, think he let me have that for four quid, four quid something like that, and the other PS2 game, slightly rarer, Capcom game called Gregory, Gregory Horror Show, um, yeah, good, good, good sort of game, uh, again sort of cutesy, cartoony style graphics, um, again, odd, Bit of an odd baller to play. Um, oh, I just sort of played it just for ten minutes. Uh, I'll get. I'll have another bash on it when I get a chance. But um, I think he let me have this for nine, eight or nine quid, which I didn't think's too bad. And again, it's pushing twenty-ish um, on on eBay. Maybe I get it cheaper. Um, but I'm quite happy with that. Uh, and the last thing I bought. Uh, really happy with this. Um, Having said that, I broke my own my own rule um, regarding Sega Mega Drive, and that was the fact that I bought this with no instruction manual. Now, again, anyone that knows me, I'll only collect Mega Drive with instruction booklets included. But if you see the game, you'll know why, because it was such a good price. I think he let me have this for I think it was eighteen. 18 quid, could be wrong, 18, not much, 18, 17, 18, something like that, and that, Splatterhouse 2, 
Um, very well, very sort of sought after title. Um, like I say, no, no manual, but hey ho, I'll, I'll try and source one of them at a later date. I was happy just to, to get it for that price. Box is in absolutely brilliant condition. Still got the original, well, I'll say original, but the pre owned. That was one that I can't get that off actually. That's under the, it's under the plastic somehow. So I'd have to, I'm going to attempt, I'll probably just leave that on, leave it on. I'm not too fussed about that. But the box itself still got the hanging tab. Um, but yeah, great condition, really chuffed, brilliant game. Played this back in the day, um, absolutely fantastic. Um, so re yeah, really happy with that. And I'll, I'll, I'll said to the to the guy in the shop in direct deals, said I'll, I'll every time I get paid, I'll I'll, I'll bob back in and I'll pick, get a few pickups every month. Um, so yeah, I'm re really pleased with that shop. Absolutely everything, absolutely everything. Um, but yeah, great stuff. Right onto the second pile quickly, um, and this is all eBay stuff. Another couple of Mega Drive games. Uh, two very different stories attached to these regarding eBay sellers. One, um, in, in sort of in terms of packaging as well. One I was very pleased with, super professional seller, um, knew exactly how to package things. And the other guy, clueless, absolutely clueless. Now anyone that's selling a Mega Drive game, or any other game for that matter, um, don't put it in an envelope for crying out loud. It's just it's 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 ridiculous trying to just bang two second class stamps on a bloody envelope. It's just stupid. Uh, as it happens, I don't I don't think it was damaged in, in any way. Um, it's sort of it's a super real basketball by the way. Um, booklet or include. I got it for a decent price. I think I got it for six quid, which is fine. But um, postage probably three quid. But just put it in a jiff. Just put it in a jiffy bag. It's not much to ask. They're not. They're not expensive um, you know you can't put retro games especially in in envelopes it's, it's just stupid um, but the game the game itself fair enough I'm happy with it it's in decent condition Lab, label on carts in good nick not not peeling off or anything like that um, and like I say the, the instruction booklet's in fairly decent order the box yeah, that's okay as well. So all in all, quite happy. But you know, just a sort of bit of a note to to any sellers out there. Please put them in jiffy bags, or better still, even in, in boxes if you can. I know it incurs a little bit more postage charge, but you know the 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 recipient, the buyer, will be much happier. You get a much better feedback. Um, I know this is not. <laughs> the reason why I got this is purely nostalgia. I played this back in the game when my mate Dave. Years ago, we used to we used to you know thrash thrash it out for for hours on this fantastic little basketball game. Don't really know what review wise whether it was you know well received at the time, but it's just it's just fun. It's just brilliant fun game. It really is. Uh, don't take itself too seriously, but it's a right it's a right good old laugh. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with that. And the other one, this guy that sold this, perfect. The box, absolutely brilliant. Uh, manual. Manual and cartridge, perfect order almost. Um, Desert Strike, staple title obviously for Mega Drive. I've got Jungle Strike, I haven't got Urban Strike, I need to pick that up at some point. But yeah, Desert Strike, best best of the three without a doubt. But yeah, still got the hanging tab, boxing, absolutely fantastic nick. Uh, cartridge, let's say, cartridge spot on. Just a slight little crease in the, in the uh, you know, dog eared on the on the manual there but nothing to write home about um, so yeah I mean that, that seller he, he put this in a box with bubble wrap and all the rest of it absolutely superb so you know pulls apart in terms of packaging quality um, so I'm really happy with that uh, a couple of PS3 games next um, eBay, eBay buys as well um, heard really good things about this um, Really, really looking forward to playing this. Don't know much about it. Just read a few reviews. It's it's absolutely superb. Got it for a good price and all. And that's El Shaddai, uh, Ascension of the Metatron. Uh, so yeah, re really happy with we getting this. Got a good price. I think this speed goes for 20, 20 quid plus even now. And got it for about a tenner, eight, nine, ten, something like that. Manual disc. Yeah, yeah, more or less like a mirror. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I might might do a gameplay video on this, uh, but yeah, if you 
if you're after a decent PS3 game and you, uh, you haven't heard about this one, you could do, you know, do yourself a favour and look out for this. The other one, uh, reading the reviews on it, much cheaper, just a budget title, but game's supposed to be absolutely yeah, really good fun to play, and that's Dead Rising 2, like a zombie sort of slasher sort of game where you're just basically killing hordes and hordes of zombies, and just a good fun sort of title. Kill half an hour, an hour or so, uh, two or three quid. I think it, it was next to nothing. Uh, again, disc absolutely perfect, manual in good condition. In fact, it doesn't really, really look like it's been played much, to be honest. So yeah, that we're uh, happy with that as well. Nice little buy there. Uh, and two PS2 titles. Uh, one I've already got, but I were, mine's a bit of a knacker copy. But it's uh, Red Dead Revolver. Anyone that's played this, absolutely fantastic game. Started it all off this. Obviously, you've got the uh, the newer versions of it. You even got a, I think Red Dead Revolver 2 is coming out on PS4 next year. I think I've seen a bit of a trailer for that. Looks absolutely awesome. But this is absolutely fantastic game. Hours and hours of game playing this. Uh, really, 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 really good. Um, yeah, I think mine had the the cover missing off the manual and a bit of a scratch disc. So. Believe it or not, even though this is a fairly cheap game, it's it, it's hard to get a decent a decent copy of it. Uh, it only goes for like five, six, seven quid, something like that. But it's to get one in good nick like this. It, I've been waiting quite a, quite a uh, quite a long while, but finally got it. So yeah, really happy to get a decent version of that back in collection. And the last one, uh, Crimson Sea Two. Don't know much about this. Again, just one of the little obscure titles that you don't hear much about. Um, it's a Koei title, um, obviously they have plenty of good titles by them. Um, gets, I'm sure it gets in low 80% on Metacritic, so it's, 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 I know it'll be a good title. Uh, disking good, good nick, manual, decent. Um, but yeah, again, another, another game I need to get round to playing and, uh, and showing a bit of gameplay action on it. So yeah, so all in all, really happy with that. So two or three works, uh, weeks worth of pickups there. I've got some more on the way, uh, and I'm gonna throw another another video in um, for in depth sort of review of a of a more expensive title and discuss prices and whether they think that they they're worth the money uh, that they command. Um, so yeah. Um, oh, one other thing I got. I got this. Look at this. Uh, metal on that. Uh, it's official, official Nintendo. Um, so I love that T-shirt. Absolutely fantastic. We're really chuffed to get that. So yeah, that was the last, the last little pick up there. But yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, check back soon. Like I say, I'm gonna. Um, I've got a Cornish Delero telling me that I need to be uploaded. It's all about the content. It's not about the uh, the quality of the vids. But I've I've got an HD camera coming. I couldn't I, I couldn't cope with this uh, lower quality. Um, so I've got an HD cam on the way. So hopefully the quality will will, will get improved somewhat for the next video. Um, so I'm going to start uploading quite regular now. Um, and yeah, so. Stay tuned and hopefully you're enjoying the content. Um, put any comments to our questions in the in the box and see. I'll reply to any any that's sort of asked. Uh, like I say, I'm fairly knowledgeable on PS2. Uh, it's primarily what I'm what my uh, collection focuses around. Um, but yeah, cool. Thanks for watching. See you soon, guys.